G'day YouTube, my name's Lance, welcome to Bundy Bear Shed. Look, today we're just doing a little clip on the TE20 air cleaner. Um, the air cleaner that we have here, that's a oil bath air cleaner off our 1948 TEA20 that we're restoring at the moment. Um, you may, on your tractor, you may have an air cleaner that looks something like this. And with this one here, this is the later type, and a rubber hose comes off here and goes back to the dash and there's a little dome on the dash to give you clean air so um, so yeah they were, they were trying with this one they were trying to get the air in a cleaner place um, a cooler air that wasn't heated up in the engine compartment under the bonnet and all that so it's the same principle this is an old one off a wreck that we have out the back so um, but it's all the same what, what goes for this one goes for the other type I have a golden grey Fergie 35 petrol and this has a similar looking cleaner on it but this is our 1948 one and it doesn't have the pipe on the top it has a louver set up here so um, the air comes up the louver and on a 49's I've seen a piece of gauze here instead of the louvers but the air comes through the louvers and you can see you can see that goes right through then, <clears throat> then the air goes down the hole here and through that pipe I'm looking <laughs> when I look at the camera I'm looking at the side screen seeing what I've got in frame and what it's not so it may look at, like I'm looking at the girl up the road or something but I'm not doing that <laughs> and so look the air comes down this hole here then <clears throat> one down and it goes into this center bowl here now there's a line around the oil around the air cleaner here for your oil that's why they call it an oil bath now the air that comes down through here comes down the center pipe into this center cup it's, it's going fairly fast so so the heavy particles in the air as they come around they go that fast that they keep going and they get caught in the oil on the bottom and the air gets sucked up around the outside here so so the air comes down in through here into the oil with the change of direction the heavy particles keep going into the oil and hopefully the clean air comes up the side here now if you can look into there you can see it's a bit grubby that's okay um, anything that gets past here gets caught in the bottom here now to clean this out the only way I can sort it out is I put it in a bucket of petrol and I jiggle it and I clean it and blow it and, and clean it up like that and the cleaner you get that the better if you can get that nice and clean um, um, you have better airflow you can run a different mixture on your carby and things like that so so when you service this air cleaner you tip the oil out all this rubbish in the bottom you can see all the junk there you clean that out there's a heap of air a heap of oil gets or dirt gets in the outside here you clean that out so so you take this and you wash it till it's clean absolutely clean and then on the tractor you wouldn't be jiggling this in petrol or anything like that on the tractor you probably wouldn't worry about that you'd leave it there but this is serviceable on the tractor so when you take it off give it a bath get it nice and clean clean as you can and then fill it with engine oil to this line here and there's little holes little holes inside there that the oil will transfer so the oil in the inside and the outside of the cup should be the same level and away you go no troubles you get him on I have had some tractors over time that these get water in them all the time and especially if they're left out in the open and the bottom of this rusts out so what can you do for that what I've done in the past and I don't know if it's a proper thing to do or not but I, it works for me is I've got a big o-ring and put up in here on that seam so so where that seam hooks in there I put an o-ring in there and so when you clamp this tight sometimes you've got to adjust it and when this clamps tight 
you've got a bit more pressure on there. These old types with the clamps like this, they don't seem to grab the water like the other ones. The other ones have a different lip here and a clamp with a screw. And they're the ones, that in, well, in my experience, they seem to leak more, but I don't know why. Um, this here, <laughs> that shouldn't be there. Whoever had this tractor many years ago thought they were doing a good thing. Or they must have um, not been able to get the proper pipe to the carby, so they, they put this bit of rubbish in here. I'll have to get that out later. And this little pipe here, um, there's a hose, little right angle hose on here, and there's a pipe that goes back into the crankcase of your tractor engine. And so any, any engine fumes, instead of going out to the atmosphere, they come up to here. Um, they're doing that to cars nowadays, but anyway, they had it, Fergie had it way back then. So for this oil, to, for the air in here to be clean, it comes up past the gauzes. And so hopefully, after it comes down here, the heavy particles go out, the air comes and gets drawn through these wire meshes. And these wire meshes go way up through here. There's quite a lot of it. And then it comes out here and goes down the pipe to your carby. So, so we're going to tidy this one up. We're, we're restoring the tractor. This is just one step in restoring the tractor. And we're doing a, a video, a vlog, video log of it all as we go. And as we find something we think will be interesting, there'll be a video on it. So um, we'll, we'll tidy this up. Subscribe to Bundy Bear's Shed. Um, you'll see the full thing. We've, We've got videos out there now of um, doing the 35 axles and all that. So the T20 axles will be done, the steering box will be done, and there'll be a lot of work done in this little run of parts. So stay tuned. We'll see what we can come up with you, with for you. And um, look, subscribe, like, comment down the bottom. I, I'll get back to everyone with their comments. So um, if you need to know anything or um, if I can help, I surely will. And the whole idea of these videos is to encourage you to have a go yourself. So a lot of it's simple if you're shown here. So anyway, that's all for the moment. We'll catch you later, right? Eh?